All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it may clear up a, a few things for you. Uh, as you can see on our dashboard, we have the both engine warning lights here. Um, and it's relating to the fault codes that we're getting um, for a camshaft exhaust sensor. Uh, it's a BMW 318 uh, 2006 E90 model with the N46 engine. Um, now this is our code tool uh, scanner that we're using here. It's a C110. Um, ignore the first one, ignore the last one. I'm not sure how well you can see that. It doesn't look very blur, uh, so in focus to me. But uh, the middle one we've got 2B63. That's the camshaft exhaust sensor. Um, now, the, the reason I'm asking you to, to sort of uh, forget about the top one and the bottom code for now uh, is basically because those faults were already on the system and that relates to the uh, the valve tronic or the VVT uh, motor which we know needs to be replaced in any case uh, but that's for another day uh, so recently we've uh, we've had trouble starting the car um, as I say we've got the engine warning lights on a complete lo lo loss of power um, and this is the code that we're getting now just a bit of an update I have already made a video sort of basically explaining that uh, but we're a day later now and I've actually taken the camshaft sensor out. Uh, this is the camshaft exhaust sensor. And it is a genuine BMW port. Uh, but it seems to have failed. What we've done is we've actually uh, tried to start the car again without this sensor in place. And it, the, uh, the, scenario, the, the circumstances that we're getting when starting and when it started are exactly the same as when this camshaft sensor is in actual place. Um, so with that, we're hoping that the uh, the sensor itself is just a fault. Uh, I mean, the, the sensor itself, you can get a replacement sensor for around £20, uh, which is what we've done, and we're waiting for that part coming tomorrow. So, um, fingers crossed that when we put the new sensor in, we will be able to uh, get a decent start. The engine will start to run smoothly. We'll have power back. The engine lights uh, will disappear once we've read the codes. That's assuming that the camshaft sensor is faulty. Um, it could be a lot, uh, a lot more serious fault than just the um, the camshaft sensor. Uh, hopefully, it's not though. I will update you, and I will post another video again with all of my uh, initial uh, findings, my initial diagnosis through to showing the, the camshaft sensor out again and then starting the engine and clearing the codes with the new camshaft sensor in. Um, either way, it might help you in future if you have the same problem. Um, the, the outcome of my problem might not be the same outcome as your problem, um, but it might give you, uh, it might narrow the field a bit and might give you a bit of a better idea um, about what the problem in your vehicle is. So thanks for watching this video.